Suppose our goal was to pull out the reddish pixels. So here's one example, all right? So let's suppose we filter this and we say we're going to pull out all the pixels where the red value can be anything at all. The green has to be low and the, the blue has to be low. What do you get? All right, well, you'll see that you get a bunch of stuff. Well, like, look, here's a green value that's uh, dark green, which is perfectly reasonable because it might not have very much red at all, but it has got, you know, a certain amount of green. Suppose, well, I want it to be even more red. Okay, so you might say, well, let me uh, require that the green and the blue be even more, meet be lower. You know, you start to see that you've lost, first of all, you've got these edges here, these pixels on the thing, and you've lost some of the red pixels that you wanted in the, in the apple. And basically, it's kind of hard if you're building, these are essentially box filters, right? There, there are a certain range in red, certain range in green, certain range in blue. It would be hard to build a box filter that pulled out all your red, your red apples. And the reason for this, and we've seen this before, is that and here we're plotting three different shades of the three different intensities of sort of the same green. In the RGB space, right, so in, in a nice sort of green in the middle, we get this nice separation between these values. But as things get darker, they get closer. And as they get brighter, they get closer. Why is it as they get darker, they get closer? And as they get brighter, they get closer? Remember that cube, right? So as I get closer to white, right, the, I'd have no choice but to sort of get closer in RGB space. And as I get closer to black, I have no choice but to get closer. So to try to do this separation in RGB space is kind of difficult. 